Video games fucking suck. To talk about at least, I'm still playing them. But for some reason, this particular medium attracts the most annoying people you will ever interact with in your life. I mean, not to say that there's no good ones, of course, but you know, there's a sneaky ratio that isn't present in like woodworking or something. Because you know, it's woodworking, everybody's working through a common objective. But gaming? That shit is way too broad. Like, if somebody walks up to me and says, you know, I play video games, that could mean literally anything from I play the latest 2K and that's about it, to I play this grimy ass 20 year old game with two files of documentation total on an emulator made in 2006. And you know what? It's honestly fine, you know, everybody got different tastes, you can just stay in your own lane. But the problem is, some people don't know how to mind their damn business and need to make everything about them. These people, being kind of generous with the term people, take many different forms and have many different varied demands based on each person. And every single one of these variations makes you want to punt them 50 yards. But you know, it's kind of hard for me to explain all this shit without being pedantic, stupid, and taking like 50 years to do this. So instead, let me just put you through a story. Imagine you're walking down the street, you know, minding your own business. You're kind of hungry, so you head to the Subway sandwich store for a little bit of grub. You're walking, and one of those two-door passageways greets you, you know. One of them is push, and the second one is pull. Kind of weird, but you know, no big deal. The push has the bar, and the pull has the handle. Easy enough for you to go through and kind of figure out. But then, right behind you, you hear somebody smack their face right onto the glass of that door. You know, they seem to have thought that that pull door was actually a push, and they're leaning their whole body weight into it, you know. A little embarrassing situation to get caught in, but nothing you haven't seen before, you know. You decide to help this guy out, because he looks like he's struggling a little bit. You try to turn around and tell him through the glass, hey, hey bro, that's a pull door, but despite telling him multiple times, he seems to have completely ignored you, and has not only continued to push, but has now started shoulder charging the door, and trying to crack the glass with every single impact. Eventually, you just gotta get out the way before that man shatters the glass with a shoulder tackle. You're already practically right next to him, so you figure you might as well help him up, but as you do, you hear him complaining about something. Out of his bloody mouth, he hears something like, Man, why do they make these doors so hard to push? This is why manual doors are so garbage. We need to change this shit to revolving doors, because those ones are intuitive, make sense, and are suited for modern sensibilities. Get these stupid ass manual doors out of society. Are you really moved by his statement, or are you just flabbergasted at his stupidity? Because this is how some people sound talking about video game genres. And not only that, a lot of people listen for some reason. But let me back up a bit, cause you know, I've never been the best at video games myself. Like, sure if you ask me to play any kind of game, most likely I will have the capacity to finish that game. I'm not gonna be no world record holder, but usually I can do what a game asks of me. And even when I don't, I understand that it is just kind of my fault. I cannot play multiplayer shooter games because I don't have any spatial awareness outside of the 60 degrees in front of me. But you know, I realize why I'm bad at them, and I, you know, I don't blame the game for testing something that I don't have. That's on me. If you just hunker down, learn the mechanics of a game, and apply what you know in a competent way, usually a game will reward you for that. But that's so fucking basic. Why the hell am I even explaining this? Literally everyone who plays video games should know this. But they don't. And it's not like all gamers on the intake suddenly stop being good at video games. Some people who picked up a game two years ago could cream someone with 20 years of experience. However, despite the talent level seemingly staying the same or even getting better amongst the top end, for some reason there now exists many other gamers who just dislike a lot of things in video games. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of people who played maybe three video games before in their entire lives, and after this experience they've decided this is enough variety for a lifetime. No other kind of video game should exist. But I kind of have respect for these one-track minded specialists. They know what they want, they know what they don't want, and they don't waste anyone's time in getting what they want. However, this respect does not extend to all of these specialists, because some of these people think that any anomalies that stray too far from what they consider to be a video game are not only a complete waste of time, but also 
never hesitate to make everyone around them know about their shocking conclusion. This can come from any kind of stunted growth gamer, you know, you could play any three video games and come to the same conclusion because you played three fucking video games, you don't know what these shits are. No shade to the basic gamer triumvirate, but there's more to life than that. Like, I can't just watch Cars 1, 2, and 3 and start talking to other people about the philosophical intricacies of Savaji. You know, you gotta expand your palate before understanding every single taste presented to you. Take something like food, for instance. If I hear somebody talking about a food that they like and they tell me, oh yeah, this is good, or talking about another food, and, oh yeah, this is bad, and I haven't tried it before, I don't really pipe up, I wait to try it and eat it, and then I'll see what my tastes on it are. And you know, even if I don't appreciate it, usually I can try to find the appeal in a lot of foods and say, well, this is probably good, just not to me. But instead of doing that, the followers of this trinity feel more like taking everything that's not chicken tenders and fries and throwing it directly into the chef's face, pie style. It doesn't matter if they went to P.F. Chang's, McDonald's, or that local joint all their friends go to, they will go there and demand what they want. Real food, if you will. Just a little bit of an inflexible kind of guy. But to come back to video games, I don't want to just dismiss the whole epidemic as you aren't real gamers and leave it at that. You know, they are playing video games after all. And it's not like I have a problem with anybody having worse taste than me. That's their problem. No, no, no. the problem arises when I have to hear about these opinions. Like, all right, all right, I get it. You can't play a video game unless it has something that scratches your specific itch. Again, I said that's fine and you can't get off to the games without your weird fetish in them. You know, that's fine. A lot of people share your tastes, so they'll make more games about it. In fact, they're gonna make a lot of games like that. But one way or another, you'll eventually get tired of playing the same old game. So some of you would like to think you want to branch out, and you would probably be right, but I wanna challenge you to go beyond a video game. In fact. Instead of seeking out the same video game again, I want you to do some introspection. Why do you seek these things out instead of looking for something new? Maybe video games aren't the only thing you should be doing. Go climb a mountain. Go cross somebody up, dunk on them. Go start drawing or something. Just do literally anything else, because if I have to listen to a Game Awards or a Nintendo YouTuber opinion from another one of their homunculi, I think I might go nuclear. Sweat.